what a summer it's been. One of the main things I've learned this summer is that you have to die in order to receive new life. And you gotta let something go in order to enter into the new. Uh, and what that means interiorly is uh, pretty significant, but also just on an external level, level I like to do uh, something when I'm entering into a new season to try and help me enter into that as well. And uh, I've liked my hair, but it's time to let it go and enter into something new. This is Brayden. He's cutting my hair. There's all the hair. <laughs> That's it, we done it. Thank you so much, Brayden. Hey friends. Just before June started, 2021, um, I felt called to leave my hometown, the town I grew up in. Um, I was still living at home at the time with my family and uh, my family was gone and in a matter of a week my entire life changed completely. I moved out to Saskatoon. I got an opportunity to work um, for one of the companies that I was uh, contracting and doing video for. I found a place to stay and this all happened all within <laughs> about a week. It blows me away the more I just surrender to the Lord and give my life to Him and give Him permission to work on my life the more things just happen. And yes, I'm trying to be intentional, but things just fall into place and just seem to happen. Uh, the more I just let the Lord try and work in my life. And yes, this may seem like an amazing thing. However, there's a caveat. There's a lot of letting go involved uh, with saying yes to the Lord. And this was kind of the theme of the summer and something I had to learn. So I feel like called out, I packed up my car and uh, Headed out to Saskatoon. Head to Saskatoon! Here we go! <laughs> this was an exciting time. I mean, uh, just a complete life change, uh, but I definitely felt the graces and uh, the Lord was there with me. It felt like I was kind of walking on water a little bit because I just kept on saying yes. And uh, it was like if I took the call and Jesus out of the picture, I would have lost it, like everything would have just been. <laughs> so I was really challenged in my faith and challenged in trusting the Lord, uh, but so much life was brought out of it. When I look back in the summer, I see the Lord's hand in so many moments, in so many encounters with people uh, and experiences. But it's hard, it really was a letting go to my old life and it felt like a complete death uh, to a season of life that I had uh, and that life would never be the same. And again, it's, it was sad. I remember driving to work the first day and just crying. Uh, it wasn't really out of, like, yes, it was sad, but I was still so excited and knew that this is where the Lord had called me and was so excited for what was to come. Yet there's still a letting go and uh, a death, I think, um, that, that you have to go through in order to enter into the new life. And I think it's good to allow, like, I, I tried to allow myself to just mourn through it. Uh, and then again enter into the new life and it's so exciting just looking forward to whatever the Lord has in store and I fully believe and trust that um, when I am going through uh, one of those death moments of just letting go to self and uh, dying to my old self I try my best to stay hopeful for the new life that the Lord wants to to bring about. Guess what guys I just found out I was sitting here editing and I get a FaceTime call from my sister and Jacob, Brandon and Jacob Powell. And uh, they announced to me that they're expecting again. Praise the Lord. Cheers to more kids. And when I look back on the summer, there was so much new life. Like the, the times, uh, just my work and the people I encountered there was just so special to me. Um, and then all the adventures in August, I did two summer camps. I uh, helped out and was on team at. I did a trip to Vancouver and then got to go hiking with the bishop of uh, our diocese here and hiked a few mountains with him and a friend of mine that I only had met this summer. <laughs> the summer just filled with so many adventures and it just made me believe even more in uh, the truth that living for God is, is truly the greatest adventure. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers. 
place that's better than this And I'm dreaming of a place that's better than this tonight, baby So why don't you, why don't you take me far away But, come the fall This is when this belief that I have and what I'm trying to learn of like you have to die in order to have new life uh, was put to the test and is being put to the test. If you don't know, I am uh, beginning studies to discern uh, the priesthood and I'm doing that here within the Diocese of Saskatoon, which is exciting. But again, <laughs> this entering into the death uh, in order to have new life uh, was certainly, I was uh, being challenged and purified in my decisions and uh, what I'm really being satisfied in. I tried to enter in as intentionally as possible, but yet it's still hard. There's still this death I have to go through to, it really feels like a death to my old self and I have to enter into the new. And the gospel a few days ago was uh, Jesus talking about how you don't put new wine into old wine skins and you don't put a piece of the new garment in order to just patch the old, but you fully enter into the new. And nobody who has the old uh, and is offered the new will, will, will take it because they just say the, the old is good. Um, it's amazing though how this theme of death in order to have life is it's etched into the very, our very being and the very essence of creation in how you go through the seasons and the trees start to lose their leaves uh, and a seed has to die in order to sprout and be able to grow. Uh, if you look in, in all, like, the, the night into the day, uh, in all aspects of creation, there is this theme of death and new life. And uh, even spiritually, when we sin, we enter into this death where we're spiritually dead. And in order to enter into this new life, it is because of Christ and the death that he went through and he sacrificed himself for in order that he could bring us into the life that he um, one size for us. Here is the first part of the catechism, what this says, the life of man to know and love God. God, infinitely perfect and blessed in himself in a plan of sheer goodness, freely created man to make him share in his own blessed life. For this reason, at every time and in every place, God draws close to man. He calls man to seek him, to know him, to love him with all his strength. I just find this unbelievable is that God was willing to sacrifice and for for himself to die in order that we could join and share in his abundant full and blessed life this is essentially I mean this is nothing new I'm just learning it in a more experiential way of and the Lord is trying to teach me how to actually enter into this and to to be willing to let go and to die is essentially to just to be open to change uh, and the new life that Christ wants to bring. But unless we empty ourselves and give uh, Christ our yes and have open hands to everything in our lives, uh, that being our possessions, our time, um, our health, anything it is, just have open hands and say, okay, Lord, I give you permission to work as you want to work. And that's when the death, <laughs> the death process happens is the letting go, but the new life uh, comes. And again, I'm being tested in this now and uh, it's exciting because I, I, I have hope and I know that the Lord is gonna bring about new life and he always wants to, uh, to give us life and to bring healing um, and to give us a greater hope and faith uh, so we can better love those in our life and enter into a greater union with him to have a fullness of joy and to live fully alive. First few days of starting university, it was tough. I was like, it was so easy to think, ah, my old life was good uh, and to just want to go back to that because it was it was uncomfortable having to just let go of more of my freedoms and more of just like being able to do what I want when I want. And I was challenged and in, in, in the Lord is asking me like, are you in or are you out? Like, <laughs> I feel like there's no in between. It's like I'm either living for myself or I'm living for God and allowing him to schedule my days, allowing him to be in control of my life. And that is ultimately what I desire. I desire to do God's will. I. I've chosen to, to try my best in giving my life to Christ, uh, yet it's a constant journey and I fail and it's so hard daily. When I try and do what I want or I try and seek uh, to just set up ways that I think will satisfy me instead of just resting and being with the Lord and knowing that above all, God is what satisfies. 
So I'm still just a young, I feel like a baby little, a baby Christian. <laughs> just trying to follow Jesus, trying to be able to let go of what I want and do what God wants and to try and form my, what I want to be more of what God wants and uh, to be willing to, to let go of everything in order to follow him. So we'll see what this next chapter looks like. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to just continue to learn and allow the Lord to form me how he uh, wants. And uh, this is where he's called me to be and I'm excited to see the new life he wants to bring because of it. Uh, question for you guys, what is uh, the death that the Lord is calling you into uh, and what he's calling you to let go of in order to enter into a greater and more full life and joy um, that he wants to offer you? But in order to do that, we got to let go. We got to be willing to change uh, and we have to die in order to have new life. <laughs> so guys, pray for me. I need your prayers. Uh, so that I'm better able to just let go and give God everything so that I can enter into a greater life and I will be praying for you guys. We all need a little more prayer. Uh, <clears throat> get your Disciple on a Mission merch. It says Living for God is the Greatest Adventure on the back. And uh, you can go to DisciplesOnAMission.com and get your merch today. We have the hoodies, the long sleeves, and the shirts. Uh, I suggest the hoodie. It is a little more expensive, but again, uh, I think it's worth it. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember, living for God is the greatest adventure. Continue to seek the truth, and we will see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> okay, here we go. University, discernment, <clears throat> and new life. Here we go. <laughs>